Well then, time to annihilate you all! You'd best give it everything you've got! I'm done showing mercy. Prepare yourself! Struggle in vain! Vermilion Fervor! I'm up! Let's go! Arcus, activate! Ha! Let's go. Arcus, activate. There. Moving out. Thanks. Huh. Thanks. Thanks. I got your back. I appreciate it. Yeah! Sure! Won't let you! Ha! Ha! An opening! Eat. Let's go! Crimson Eat. Slash! It's down! There! Eat. Very well. Uh, Here we go! Fly away! <laughs> yeah! Thanks! Right! Hold fast! Black Tortoise Formation! Let's go! Uh, yeah! My turn. Ka. Yeah. Very well. It's down! You're wide open! <laughs> All right! Let's go! Ha! Here we go! Cross of Defiance! Cross Rebellion! Let's go! Right! Zero Breaker! I'm up! Hold fast! Black Tortoise Formation! Let's go! Uh, yeah! My mind is clear. My blade empty. Now! Ha! 
Termination slash. Die! Won't let you! Yeah! Not today! You're stronger than I expected. Here I come! Let's go, Mjolnir! Let's go! An opening! Well, we managed to meet up in the middle, at least. Yeah. But otherwise, I'd say we're at a stalemate here. Uh, these guys are a real pain in the ass. It makes for a killer photo op, though. These snaps are like gold! They've taken countermeasures to ensure the Merkaba wouldn't be able to act. So it seems. With all these guns trained on us, We'd end up taking too much concentrated fire. <laughs> Maybe we can just shoot down one of theirs. I'm afraid that's not an option. They'd simply use it against us. Agreed. They need only spin it as a declaration of war. The Erebonian Intelligence Division is poised and ready to flood the world with misinformation. All they need is an excuse. Then the Scarecrow's already at work. I'd expect no less from Osborne's right-hand man. We'll have to count on Richard and the others to stave them off. Indeed. Lecter, how did this happen? They've got the whole airspace locked down tight. Not one gap to be seen. Brigadier General Bardius, shouldn't we go help them? If Zephyr's out there, I should be too. This is the perfect chance for me to knock some sense back into George. No. I need all of you to stand down. It seems your worst case scenario is upon us. I'm afraid so. M Mildeen? No, you don't mean... Major activity on the Glorious! There's something massive deploying on deck! Oh no! I knew it! No way! Seriously? They're busting out those huge hunks of metal again? Ions? Three of them. They look a little different from the ones we saw in Crossbell. These must be their second models. They're coming. Watch out! All ships, evasive maneuvers! Have 
if he can just keep up the pressure. Damn it! <laughs> Gaius! Rosine! Shit! Don't tell me! It's coming! What are we supposed to do about this thing? Oh, a little flashy for my taste, but not bad. Oh, come on. This is just overkill. <laughs> what magnificent power. Even greater than the Empire's Divine Knights. Ooh, nice one, Lady Val. I guess that creepy doll obsession of yours makes you pretty good at controlling ions, huh? Why, naturally. A marionette is a marionette, no matter the size. Instructor! Are you gonna call him in? Yeah. I'll leave everything else to you. Heed my call. Valimar! Come! Ordeen! Of course. Those are Divine Knights? They're even more impressive than I imagined. Ah, finally bringing out your ace in the hole, huh? However, we've accounted for this. To me, Testarossa! Come, Zector! Two more of them? The Vermilion and Palatinate Knights. Prince Cedric. You sure you're up for this old man? Well then, since we have this chance, how about we start the rivalries right here and now? Hey, cool your jets there, little prince. Doesn't count if we're not in a shrine. The Ion Gamma. Seeing it from the other side of the battlefield, it's overwhelming. Having second thoughts? I really do pity you, Duvali. Hopefully you see now that you've bitten off more than you can chew. Unfortunately, the situation will only get worse for you from here on. <gasps> Behind us! <laughs> Check and make! What do we do now? My patience has reached its limit. We need to help. Hold on, guys. We're coming for you. I can teleport us there. Hold on. No. That won't be necessary. We have one final landing craft left on board. With it, you will make your escape, along with Her Highness. I'll head to the deck. Be sure to recover Schwarzer and the others when the chance strikes. B but that would mean leaving you behind. Just tell us, Muse, what are you trying to do here? Lady Mildine accounted for this, should things go south. And as it so happens... Everything went just as she predicted. This is our contingency plan. All we're doing is putting it into play. Everyone, it's been my pleasure to know each and every one of you. I ask that you give Instructor Reen and the rest of Class 7 my deepest regards. Musei, what are you saying? You guys gonna go down with the ship or something? We don't wish to die here. But dire straits call for dire measures. We will soon plot a course for the Crimson Ark. Ramming speed. There'll be no getting away for them, given the distance. That's crazy. Even if you do take him down, an impact that massive, 
It would blow you to pieces! Besides, what would the Weisland army do without its flagship? And what of Mil Mirage? How do you expect it to go on if we lose all three of you? Not to worry. Mil Mirage was set in motion the moment Lieutenant General Bright was named Supreme Commander. The Weisland army's core forces need only await his orders, and I suspect Vita will come to their aid as well. We're fully aware of how heavy a blow sacrificing this ship will be. But if it allows us to take down the Crimson Ark in turn, then as far as exchanges go, there are far worse moves to play. You say, Principal Le Guin? But why? Meldine? No, Muse. What reason is there for you to throw your life away as well? It's only right that the one responsible for a plan that will kill millions joins them in death. I long ago decided to stand my ground with the generals, should it come to this. Though in truth, perhaps I'm simply not strong enough to bear all that grief. <sighs> Musei! <laughs> As the Supreme Commander of the Viceland Army, I order you to evacuate this ship immediately. Notify all crew members. Prepare to execute Plan D. As you wish. Commence Plan D! For the glory of the Viceland Army! Yes, my lord! Yes, your highness! The landing craft is in the hold directly below. Make your way to the elevator at once. Or else, goddess be my witness, I will cut you down right where you stand. <laughs> Damn it all. You leave us no choice. Actually, I don't think we have to go at all. Huh? Kido? She's exactly right. Mr. Bright! Suspend Plan D until further notice. This course of action has already been discussed. I was under the impression we'd come to an agreement. Indeed. You truly are a remarkable young woman, capable of influencing the very fate of the world itself. But it would seem both of us failed to give credit where credit was due. Namely, to the potential of the Third Path, and the wings which light its way. Did you just say wings? There's only one thing in Erebonia that comes to mind. Yeah! They're coming! Ah. I recognize that sound! Hmm. Wait, isn't that... Now what? <sighs> it's getting closer. Another enemy airship? No. That ship, it's... <sighs> <sighs> 